Right guys, welcome back. It's been a bit of a roller coaster of a few days with this drone. Yes, the DJI Avatar is back. <laughs> this is actually a new one. I ended up getting a new one just, just so I could obviously finish my YouTube videos and everything else. So if you didn't know in the last video, the last one went missing. Um, go check it out, there's a bunch of stuff that went wrong. Um, it's partly my fault, partly I think fault of this, the DJI system, basically it was, it had landed, the short of it was, it had landed somewhere where I didn't actually know where, where the hell it was, and um, it had basically gone into, obviously low power mode, I think it kind of, when it lands it goes into low power mode, the camera goes onto like low output power mode so that it doesn't overheat. But the problem was, it did actually overheat very quickly, after me regaining signal, it, it over, overheated and I couldn't, I couldn't do anything in the goggles, it just said basically drone is overheating, shut down, so I couldn't retrieve the drone and find where it is and it was in a field with like tall grass and everything else. Anyway, since that point, I've been looking more at what's been going on in the community for, for um, the Avatar, a couple of Facebook groups, and one in particular, I did briefly mention last in the last video about um, hacks that had been previously done. I did touch on a bit on the previous video saying how you know, it's ridiculous that we have this CE restriction where the power level is lower. It's dangerous for drones really to run on such low power. That's my thoughts of it. Thoughts on it anyway. Um, but yeah, someone's basically hacked the um, the system now, so you can run um, FCC mode on these drones, and it will allow it to operate at a higher power level. Shouldn't do this because it's you know don't condone it. You're not supposed to do this, but. There is a way of making these drones have a lot stronger um, control and video link um, should you wish to do it. And it's available now. So let's head over to Facebook on my phone and I'll show you the group I'm talking about and what the developments have been happening. You know, it, it's amazing how quickly this stuff happens. I, I love it. It's like the old jailbreak days of the iPhone where people just, you know, hacked it as soon as it came out very quickly. So yeah, this is the Facebook group. It's called um, F DJI FCC and ADSB iOS Android Mods. It's been around for a long while. It's Drone Tweaks. The website is actually dronetweaks.com, um, I think. But yeah, you can see here, look, we've got, I can confirm both the iOS and Android FCC apps are working correctly with Uvata. Um, I'll publish these procedures tonight. So these, these guys are working on this and you can see here, there's already a video up, up which is, which shows you the power output of the Avata, um, you know, going up dramatically. Um, if you can see this here, but yeah, look, it's four um, dBm, I think that is, and then it goes up to, yeah, you can you can see the level that it goes up to, and the way that it it does this is by they basically hacked like the DJI Fly app. You know, you're not using the the one that you download from. Funnily enough, you don't actually download these from, from the Play Store on, on uh, Android anymore. You have to download them from, from Google anyway. Um, so yeah, you sort of sideload this app onto the um, onto your Android device or iOS device. And um, yeah, it, it will then increase the power output by putting, them, putting the drone in um, FCC mode instead of CE. This isn't new, this has been done, for, you know, this has been going on for a long time, um, you know, with the previous DJI FPV and the Mavic and all the other drones there as well. And this app, I think, works with, with all the other drones as well. But yeah, you can see how interesting that is. Um, and obviously, that's good. that should make a lot of difference to the signal. So yeah, that, in my mind, is the true spirit of FPV there, right there. And that's absolutely amazing. So yeah, go check it out if you're interested, support that cause. The drone um, app is actually, there is a charge for it, um, but I, I think it's worthwhile because these guys are doing some great stuff on, on that anyway. So it's worthwhile supporting um, the cause. Yeah, okay, they could have made it free. But yeah, I think it's fair. I'd make a donation if I was using it. So I think I've got no problem with that at all. Anyway guys, check it out. Links in the description. If you're new to the Avata and all that sort of stuff, more videos coming on that. And um, yeah, excited to get this one going.